So we've been asked to make x a subject, and the first thing we've got to do is certainly get rid of that massive square root symbol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides. So y squared is equal to 3x minus 2 all over x plus 1. I could put brackets around those um, numerator and denominator if I wanted to. Because next thing I'm going to multiply both sides by x plus 1. And that's going to make that fraction go away, which is nice. Now if I expand that bracket, you'll notice I'm putting the variables in alphabetical order. x comes before y. Um, and now I'm going to try and get both my x's on the same side. So x, y squared minus 3x. And I'm going to take the y squared over to the right hand side. With minus y squared minus 2. Okay. Now if I factorize out the x, I can write this this left hand side as y squared minus 3. There we have it. And now if I divide by y squared minus 3, I'm going to have x is equal to minus y squared minus 2 divided by y squared minus 3. Uh, and I could finish there if I wanted to, but I don't like the numerator being like that, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by minus 1 to get exactly the same answer, but written without any minus signs at the top. So y squared plus 2 uh, divided by 3 minus y squared, and that's my answer. So I'm going to quick, have a quick look at the uh, examiner's report. Do, do pause if you need to. Um, if you think that right, um, that's fine, but make sure you know why you got it wrong. And um, see if you made a mistake that's similar to other people uh, taking this exam, so that you're aware of the sorts of things that you might do in an exam. And you can see that they would have accepted both answers.